Justice Ayo Salami has recommended that the next head of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, should come from outside the police force. He made the recommendations on Friday after he presented the panel report on corruption allegations against the suspended EFCC chairman, Ibrahim Magu, to President Muhammadu Buhari. Justice Salami says the four previous EFCC chairmen were from the police force and that it was important to give members of other law enforcement or security agencies a chance to lead the anti-corruption body as provided in the EFCC Establishment Act of 2004. To speak on the submission of the reports by the Justice Salami-led panel, we're now being joined by legal practitioner and rights activist, Enibe F. Young. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you. Now, what do you make of the panel's recommendations? Well, uh, our comments at this stage or at this point has to be relatively reserved because we haven't seen the full report. But I do entirely agree with the panel that the police should be totally insulated from the EFCC. It was an error, a legislative error, to have allowed the police to be part of the EFCC in the first place. The EFCC is supposed to be an elite anti-corruption investigative body. Given the problems that the police itself has, there is no wisdom to my mind in allowing policemen to be deployed on secondment to the EFCC, let alone to allow a police officer to serve as the chairman of the commission. And what we have seen over time is that when these policemen are appointed, they basically carry along with them, the police baggage, the same policing culture to the EFCC. So I agree entirely that that has to be corrected. And I also agree with the panel that all policemen who are in the EFCC should be given a process to be redeployed back to the police. EFCC should be totally independent of the police. It should be an entity on its own. I also agree that Mango should not return as the chairman of the commission. Although I do know that those who are against him from the attorney general also have their own issues of integrity and questions regarding the credibility of their performance in office. I do not think it is in the national interest for Mango to return as the chairman of the commission all right so what's I, likely I outcome would you would you i'm sorry we're running out of time right now but i would like to kindly ask you before we let you go what likely outcome do you expect from the presidency from this report it has been clear from the outset that some forces within the presidency wanted mago to be gone at all costs i also expect that if the president is truly serious about fighting corruption that this matter should not be personalized the attorney general himself should also be investigated. And I hope that the assets that will recover, the so-called looted assets, will be accounted for. And where in the report of the panel it is found that those assets, some of the aspects of those assets cannot be accounted for, individuals who were responsible for the disappearance or dissipation of those assets will be prosecuted. We have to find a way to hold people accountable. Anybody that wants to fight corruption should himself be above corruption. And Thank that is the message that I expect the president to say. Thank you very much, Mr. Efiang, for your thoughts on the news. Thank you.